Could you please, in your wisdom, explain what spirituality 1.0, 2.0 and 3.0 was, please? Okay. So I, I used those numbers to talk about a phenomena which exists on its own. <clears throat> so we can make a practice out of it, but it's like an organic thing which would evolve anyways. And so spirituality 101 is where people start to wake up out of unconsciousness. When people begin to wake up out of unconsciousness, they start to think about the fact that they might be able to create their own reality. They start to see that they have actual influence. They start to practice deliberate focus. So spirituality 101 is for the most part what has been taught on the planet and what's being taught currently. So, I mean, it's like there's a million teachers that are teaching that. This is how to create your own reality. This is how to feel better. All of those types of take charge of your reality things. Now, what happens pretty quickly is that people start to realize that there's a whole aspect of their life that is being controlled by like an unseen force. So no matter how much I'm focusing on things that feel good, these negative things keep happening to me still. Now, that's when you're ready for spirituality 2.0, which is that next step which is basically to acknowledge that there's an aspect of you that you have disowned, the subconscious self. This is what Jung referred to as the shadow. So um, in spirituality 2.0, instead of trying to create your reality, you are trying to be fully present with yourself. So instead of going out into the light of consciousness, you're essentially harnessing the light of consciousness and going back down into the shadow aspects, into your unconscious, into those things you're trying to escape from. Those are positive and negative things because we bury anything which we thought was unacceptable when we were children. And we're completely present with those emotions, with those aspects of ourselves. It's the point of rejoining ourselves, essentially. And then spirituality 3.0 is the natural progression from there. It's where those two, Spirituality 101 and 2.0, get merged. So we are able to be completely fully present with ourselves and because of that fully conscious and present state, we are able to now create from a space which is purely in alignment. So, so our creations are not coming from shadow aspects anymore. And because we're, a, we're actually willing and able to feel everything and anything, now, those things that we're trying to create, we're not trying to create because we're trying to get away from something, which is what makes it so pure. So if you look at human suffering, a lot of human suffering has to do with the fact that we're always trying to go in the direction of something because we're trying to run away from something else. When you are doing Spirituality 2.0, there's no more running. You're actually eradicating the need and the desire to run from anything. And so you're wanting and choosing something because of it, it being a choice, not because you so don't want something else. So it's kind of the way, the best way to describe spirituality 3.0 is that manifestation and me becoming a God source creator on earth, basically, is no longer about I want vanilla ice cream because I so don't want chocolate ice cream. <laughs> it's about I am choosing vanilla ice cream because I want that experience. Do you feel how that's, the, like, the purity of that? There's, like, a lack of strings or anchors attached to painful stuff. So your life becomes a joyous one. And it, instead of it, and this is what people have to really understand, your spiritual progression is not about becoming happy 24 hours a day. It's becoming willing to feel. So it's not that we feel better. It's that we start to be willing to feel more. So we get better at feeling rather than, feel better. Two different concepts. And so when we're watching somebody who's enlightened, who essentially goes through all these steps on their own anyways, right? When we watch somebody who's reached a state of enlightenment and we're watching why, why is this person seem so unaffected? It's not that they're unaffected. It's that they're so okay with being affected that there's zero resistance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make sense? 